What is going on traders? John with Tactical Trading here with our OTC Saturday video. Uh, we're going to kind of keep it short and sweet. There's really not too much to talk about as far as calling out a bunch of stocks because the way this market has been, the first month of 2022 has been very, very tedious. It's been a very rough month. Um, I think the I think it should change. I do not believe we have the bull run you know we had last year. I think that was an anomaly that hasn't happened in prior years in the past. It's probably not going to happen again. Um, that doesn't mean that there's not going to be opportunities in the market. Um, I mean, just because it's a rough year does not mean that there's no opportunities afforded to us. Um, you know, uh, I I believe that we're just going to have to be a lot more picky with uh, the plays that we choose. Um, some of the plays going forward that we liked in the past, I mean, obviously, you still like Fern, still like Eyeless, uh, App Swarm, SWRM, we like them. I'm um, going to bring you three plays. One, in fact, uh, this is a play that uh, we brought you last year. In fact, it was just about a year ago right now um, that this thing had its really, uh, really had its run. That is uh, TG. I Solar Power Group TSPG. Uh, we've talked about these guys several times on the uh, on the channel. Uh, closed on Friday at 0 0.0068 on about four million volume. It was up a percent, so uh, not much. Uh, we can take a look here at the chart. And if we take a look, I want to kind of zoom out to the two year. You can see right here, and that was on uh, December 30th. On that Friday, and that was obviously going into the holiday weekend of New Year. Um, let's see here. 30th. Yeah, that was done the 30th. So, and that thing ran up to eight and a half cents. In fact, pre market, I think that thing was trading 18, and I was picking that thing up under a penny. Um, so, this thing can move. It's got a great share structure. Um, let's take a look at the last uh, six months. And if we take a look at the last six month chart, this thing is basically flatlined. I mean, you can see right here, this thing um, right at that 68 mark has just been straddling this thing uh, above it for most of the time and just kind of pulled below it. Um, looks like it's trying to fight its way above. Um, but any, any move I believe above or around 80 would be a break of this little six month channel that we've been kind of trading in now uh take a look here add their website up you can see the companies into uh, smart self-sufficient sustainable communities uh the second generation renewable energy water treatment solar energy organic food production um they're working on, um, let's see, they're working on a project in the Yucatan Peninsula. Let's see here. In fact, I'll just pull up their Twitter. And you can see that they... Uh, Quite a few shots of them working on this Advent uh, Smart City down in the Yucatan Peninsula. You can see they're working, uh, they have the, uh, getting involved in the metaverse, virtual worlds. <clears throat> involved in this smart city as well too, so. You know, this is, this is a play that I thought had a lot of potential last year. I think it's really, you know, just took some time. They just started breaking ground on this uh, last year. And again, we can, we can take a, uh, a look at the share structure here, the security details. The share structure hasn't changed in two years, so there's no dilution. Um, and you can see there's only about uh, half a billion on the float. Even though they have 2.4 billion on the authorized, um, a little over a billion are restricted. So, and you can see here, being that there's been no dilution in almost two years, you know, 
sets you in a good spot because right now you don't want to be any plays that are going to be diluting on you right now. Um, we're not in a market where uh, you can sustain um, CEOs that are BSing or lying, uh, a play with no catalyst or a bad share structure or a really high float. Um, there's some plays out there with higher floats right now that aren't moving, and I think they're they're really good companies, but they're just not going to get any traction right now. Um, you know, that's just the way it is. The you know, the lower the float, the better, and a lot of these companies aren't moving. So, um, you know, just keep a keep a close eye on TSPG. Um, I started adding uh, last week again, and um, I'll continue adding. I think this is this is more of a slower play that might take a little while to work out, but when it does, and when it finally starts taking off, I, I think uh, three four cents is definitely not out of the question here. And uh, from these levels, you're making a nice killing on that. Um, Second play is a play we've talked about before. Got a little uh, pop today, and that's KRFG, King Resources. Closed at .0064, uh, up 25% on the day on Friday. And mind you, I'm doing this a uh, little after midnight, so it's early Saturday morning. So if I say yesterday, today. It... But uh, this thing got dumped. Uh, you could see when the uh, authorized shares were uh Burn up to six billion, but you can see nothing has changed in the outstanding shares in quite some time. Uh, nothing's changed in the restricted or unrestricted. Now, what has changed? You can go to the company profile. Address was changed, and then the company officers and contacts were changed to Fuwa and Lauki. So. Um, I would imagine that's Chinese, added, um, some Chinese businessmen or businesswoman added, and we will find out what's going on. Um, so, you know, we've been waiting on this ticker for a while. You know, almost 65 million traded today, so a really, really good day trading today. And I mean, if you really look at it, it's kind of bottomed out. Take a look at the last three months. Um, from mid-November, I mean, this thing's really been trading. Kind of found his bottom a little under a half a penny. And um, you can see today, uh, nice nice volume, nice first green day. Uh, if this thing has a continuation on Monday, it'll break above these these levels here. And maybe we get a little we get a little move up to a, close to a penny or something. And hopefully we have some good news coming in. I have absolutely no idea what company's rolling in or what they have going on. But be it that, you know, they have something coming in. Uh, I would imagine the officers changed. Karen Courier has been pulled off as the CEO, and now we have new CEOs on this, uh, or new CEO and new officers. Um, so I'm assuming they just sold the shell, and we'll see what's moving in. And uh, this is a fresh company, so basically a fresh new play for the OTC right now. So uh, definitely want to keep an eye on KRFG. And right now, last but not least, uh, my favorite play right now, and this is another one we've talked about, quite a bit and this is GFTX Global Fiber Technologies Inc closed on Friday point zero zero seven one one eight shows on TD that it closed at seven but either way on eleven and a half million volume decent volume chart looking good kind of zoom back to that six month chart looking good we're about to hopefully break these 85 highs coming up over the next few days uh, that maestro deal should be closing by the end of next week. Let me take a look at the website. And it just gets into their event worn, reborn collectibles. And the attributes of what they have going on. And, you know, just in case everybody forgot, we'll play this here. At Authentic Heroes, we help fans to own a piece of history from their favorite athletes or celebrities. From an event-worn piece of clothing, we create limited edition series of commemorative fan work. Now to bring it to life. After we've prepared the product individually by hand, we're ready for our proprietary patented process. First step, we get the jersey, we make sure that it's authentic by working directly with the athlete, and we mark those fibers as being authentic. Second step, we take all the numbers and labels off. Then we pull the fabric apart into individual fibers. With those fibers, we spin back up into yarn and fabric and then make a new series of clothing. 
we make the limited edition series. We make it with fabric that has fibers from the original from top to bottom and side to side. They're throughout, and you can see that they're marked with authenticating materials. The final step of making Authentic Heroes products are to add a serial number and QR code. You can scan the QR code and go to a website that shows your ownership of that product. And now you can see with that as well, too, um, they're going to be getting in with that maestro. They have a gigantic catalog of um, musicians and, you know, uh, different, uh, different musicians and artists that come along with that as well, too, that they'll be packaging and doing the NFTs uh, as far as that. So um, I think GFTX, this is one to really watch out for uh, throughout the year. Um, I know I think we were talking about just a little bit too early back in November. Um, we needed this deal to close. The deal's closing uh, on Friday, and now we get to move forward with this. So uh, really, really excited about GFTX. I think this thing easily can, can do three to five cents, if not better, depending on how this thing plays out. Uh, also today, if uh, we take a look here, I just want to touch on one more thing really quickly since we we're making this uh, short short video here and um, just a few things here even uh, even before the maestro deal is closed we are already creating and branding uh, remastered from the archives collection uh, in talks with a group that has thousands of stores already showing soft interest for 2022. So not, they have stores interested now as well with this too. So that, that's definitely interesting. Uh, right here, um, a question was asked, any chance you can include your balance sheet cleanup in your 2022 roadmap? And it says, yes, that will be included. The majority is owed, the majority is owed is to us the principles of the company. We put the monies into the company in the form of advances and loans. Uh, Two million of the liabilities on the balance sheets are derivative calculations required by the SEC. They will be gone before the year is out. That's promising. So um, just something I'm very excited about. This is a company I'm really excited about. So um, definitely keep an eye on uh, GFTX, uh, Global Fiber Technology. So um, that's all I got for you today. Um, as always, please like, please share, please subscribe. Any comments or questions, please put them in the comment section below. Keep an eye out for more videos this weekend. We're going to have a pretty active weekend. And as always, traders, let's get that money.